they sent me this kind of visual and I went, holy crap, that's fantastic. This is Hellboy Web of Words. It's a over-the-shoulder camera viewpoint. Um, Hellboy goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with some big guys. It mimics the kind of, uh, the thing you get in the comments, but Hellboy doesn't quite know what's around the next bar. Thankfully, a clever combination of programmers working with shaders to get those shadows fall nicely on, on the body of the, of the character. Um, the modelers spending some time boring over reference material, uh, gathering the many panels that most drawn over the years and, and sort of trying to figure out what that means when you, as you rotate around the character. Also, you can look at him from one angle and go, yes, we've nailed it. And then you took twists around at the 50 few degrees. You're like, ah, that's not quite for you right now. Let's iterate a bit more. Scratch our chins a bit, hold around the monitor and reiterate. Um, and then the fabulous work from the animators who you know, saw the, the, the keyframes, as it were, of, of Mike's uh, work and tried to uh, interpret that into motion. Usually I'm horrified when I hear that somebody wants to do something in my style because usually it just means a very bad imitation of like surface details that I do but uh, but these guys really understood dissected and understood what I do so that there's so much stuff in this game that I had nothing to do with that still feels like me but again even the way characters move when I draw stuff it doesn't really move but seeing it move here and you go yeah actually that's how that would move so yeah I was very very impressed If you make up a character who's a red guy with a tail and you give him the stupidest name you can imagine, uh, it never occurs to you that it's eventually going to pay your rent. You know, <laughs> it, was, it was entirely something I did because I was doing regular Marvel and DC comics kind of stuff and I thought just once I want to do something that's mine. It wasn't, you know, I'm going to create a transmedia franchise, which is a phrase I'd never even heard of. Uh, I just thought I wanted something on the shelf once that felt like the shit that I like. It's kind of like a joke that just nobody realized it was a joke. And at some point you go, I guess it's not going to go away. Only a couple of years ago I, re I realized I don't think this is going to go away. <laughs> I think I'm going to get away with this. We kind of feel that Hellboy isn't afraid to get uh, stuck in into a fight. He will take on the challenge uh, and uh, first and then maybe have to think about on his feet uh, afterwards. Um, but he's also can be quite resourceful and that was quite a nice challenge, nice thing to sort of bring to the game. What's nice is you create your own thing and you live in a world where anytime the phone rings it, it could lead to some other weird thing that you never could have imagined. I don't know if this is Hellboy's last gas or if it'll lead to some other weird thing. You never know who's a fan of Hellboy and who might want to do some other weird thing with Hellboy, so. I tried to write them like people, you know, not like, I mean, I, a lot of comics people, are, uh, comic book writers write comic book characters. And I never, you know, I never really set out to be a writer. So when I made up these characters, it was just, what would I say? How would I talk? Uh, the first time Elway had a partner, which was a, a, a female character, I thought, if I said this, what would my wife say? So if, if there's anything I do, it's, it's I've made these characters normal. I mean, there's a fantastic situation, and I love the big cosmic stuff and the mythology and all that stuff, but to have these characters who may look like monsters, for the most part, have all the regular insecurities and stuff that regular people have. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not the guy to ask. I, I just, I do what I do, and I don't analyze it, and I hope for the best. He, as far as I know, a real fan of genre stuff. Uh, I know he really wanted to develop a Blackula film for himself, you know? Yeah. Uh, he, he was such a sweet guy. I got to watch him uh, do the recording session one day uh, and just, you know, I was thrilled. I couldn't believe when they told me they had Lance for the boys. And it was just, it was, it was a real, real pleasure to get to meet him and, and watch him, you know, work. 
yeah, it'd be nice, or I could just be left alone. I mean, at the, <laughs> and, and at this point, I have done so far, everything has happened that is so far beyond anything I imagine. There's no part of me that says, yeah, but what if we could do this, or what, what, could we do this? I'm very content to be home drawing my comics or writing my comics, but you should do a Hellboy in Hell game. Yes. Yeah, Lord, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fun to deal with. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>